Hi guys, this afternoon we're going to be making a raw fish salad. So, put your kahawai, and then cut in down here. Try not to pierce the gut lining. And then all the way along the backbone. You can leave a bit on the backbone there because we're going to use that for smoked fish. So I'm just going to use the fillets for this. So one fillet off, turn them over. Off, you don't want that all over there. Same again, down in here, up behind the head. Beauty. You can set this aside for later. I'm just going to pop them over here. I'll show you what we're going to do with that next time. Now, it's really important, guys, to not wash your fillets. Fresh water contains bacteria, as does salt water, and actually, the best way. Keep your fillet bacteria free to so not wash it at all. So, I'm just going to wipe down my chopping board here and then we'll be ready to take the skin off. So, all we're going to do is keep your fingers scale free. Any scales you can see on the top, just flick them off with your knife. Or you can use a bit of paper towel if there's a cup on there and you can just dab that down, pick the old one off, then we're going to basically do the same thing as taking the fillets off. We're just going to get a little pinch in here. I'm just going to go very gentle with kahawai because it doesn't come off the skin quite as easy as a snapper. but. Once you've got that off, you're basically there. There we are, one beautiful fillet. Remember just to check for your scales. Once you've got all those off, you can just pop them on your wee chopping board. And we'll do the next one. Same again, take the scales off my knife, a little check here, take that scale off, not too bad. Same again, just get your fingers on the edge of the fillet and you want to pinch down, keeping the scales away. And then you just want to keep your knife down as flat as you can to the chopping board. And you want the blade to do most of the work for you. Same again. I actually got a bit close to the rib cage there, so we're just gonna whip those off. Like that. I'm going to pop him on here. And now, both fillets on the chopping board. Next thing I'm going to do is clean your hands up again. Double check. Make sure you're happy with your fillets. I promise you guys, if you haven't had raw fish before, you're going to love this recipe. It's really, the lemon juice cooks the fish. And basically, the longer you leave it, the more it will cook. So, some people do it for a very short period of time. Some people do it for longer. 
So all you want to do now is about one centimeter cubes. If you get your chunks as evenly sized as you can, then they'll all cook about the same speed. And you won't have some more cooked than others. But if you don't mind a little bit of variety, it's not the end of the world. Like I say, you can you can really adjust how long you want to have it in there. Me personally, I like to soak it for about two hours with a stir in the middle. Um, some people like it overnight. Some people like it even less. Some people like it an hour or half an hour. I mean, there's nothing wrong with eating raw fish. If this is your first time trying raw fish salad, then I would take the blood meat out if there is any, and I would recommend you soak it overnight for your first time, and just see how you go with that. There's no, oh, one escaped me, no right or wrong way. It's all personal preference. So, now we've got a tub full of pellets. We're gonna get some lemon juice. And we're just gonna tip that in there. Get it all in there. You want it to be nearly covering, which if I give it a bit of a shake, that's nearly there. Fresh lemon, straight like this. Okay, so that's nicely covering. Give it a little shake, pop the lid on, and that's going to go in the fridge for a few hours. Probably going to leave mine two to three hours this time. My partner likes it overnight, so I might do that. Basically, just see see how it's looking. You want to stir it. Give it a turn every hour and keep an eye on it and if you're not sure guys just pull a piece out try it it's pretty yum just like that be quite lemony but it's pretty yum just like that so i'm gonna go and put that in the fridge see you soon okay guys so welcome back my raw fish here has now had I think about three and a half to four hours in the fridge. You can see what that looks like. It's looking pretty good. You can see it's mostly cooked. Bring that up to you. Just going through it. All looks really, really good. I'm just going to sample a piece because, you know, you got to. Hmm. So it's still quite firm. Personally, that's what I like. So we're going to strain the lemon off into there. Um, you can discard this lemon juice. Some people like to pop it back in there. Basically, it's just lemon to your taste. I'm not trying to press the lemon flavor out of it or the lemon juice out. I'm just moving it around. And that will get rid of 
most of the excess juice. Okay? It's really easy from here on in. I mean, the whole thing is easy. Hardest part is catching the fish. So, kahawai chunks in there. So we've got one can of coconut cream. It's just Auntie Pam's coconut cream. I'm gonna pop all of that in there. Beauty. Now here I've got two spring onions, a chunk of cucumber about that long chopped into cubes, one whole tomato. Now it's important with the tomato that you take out the seed and most of the juicy parts of the tomato, otherwise it, it will just end up a really soggy mess, which you don't want, and a whole red onion. You can embellish on this or take away things that you don't like, if you don't like cucumber or whatever. You can use what you like, but this is just what I prefer. I love red onion, so I use a whole one of those, a whole tomato, chunk of cucumber, and two spring onions, including most of the green bits of the spring onion. In like that. Grab yourself a utensil and we're just going to mix it around in here until it, everything's nicely coated in the coconut cream. And that's that. One beautiful raw fish salad. Now from here, like I say, you can season to taste. So you can add some lemon, you can add some salt and pepper. I really like to serve it with Kai Tai Fire, just because we're a spicy household. So, and it, yeah, it goes well with a bit of heat. So even if you're a bit chilly shy, just try a wee bit if your friends have got some. It's all mixed through nice. Now I tend to season it when I bring it back out of the fridge. This needs to go back in the fridge and let the coconut cream cool down and let everything come to the same temperature. Um, and then I'll give it a mix and a season, but it's probably just gonna be salt and pepper and Kai Tai Fi. Really good way to serve it is with some nice bread or with crackers or tacos or corn nachos, whatever you fancy. It, you know, I just take a small tub with me for lunch at work. It's fantastic. So give it a go, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know your recipe changes. And it's also really good with Trevelli, Snapper. I just tend to use it with Kahawai because that's mostly what I catch. But yeah, Trevelli is probably another high favorite for raw fish salad. Yeah, good luck. Thanks very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time on Fishing No Frills.